This camera from the convention center captured the moment someone opened fire downtown, leaving two dead and hundreds of people scrambling. WDRB's Conroy Deluche breaks down the surveillance footage from that early Sunday morning. Conroy. This was the final night Southern Restaurant and Lounge was open for business, touted as its last rodeo. It ended with gunshots. Three o'clock Sunday morning. You see a crowd outside Southern Restaurant and Lounge and cars lined up and parked along Market Street. There were two to three hundred people at that location when this shooting occurred. We obtained the security footage from the Kentucky International Convention Center right across the street. The timestamp on it shows the shooting happened at 305. You see people sprinting across market, jumping into cars, taking off. In this clip, you can even see someone helping a person into a pickup truck. Eight minutes after the shots were fired, you see the first police lights flood market and officers sprint toward the crowd. Days later, still no arrests. This is our community. We cannot do this alone. We need the public's assistance when they see something to say something. The city was already investigating this business. There were also noise complaints and neighbors called the restaurant problematic, saying it ran more like a club than a restaurant. It's not surprising, um, but it still is disappointing. This shooting has revived a push to close bars sooner in Louisville. Like many other cities in America, 2 a.m is late enough. But some bar owners say that is not a solution. I don't see it making it better by forcing everybody to end at the same time. I think it would make almost more sense to not force a hard, almost bottleneck of time where you're going to have a concentration of issues. As for the restaurant itself, the signage is gone, the curtains are closed, and the building is for sale. The last images of the open sign lit up are people sprinting away from gunshots. We're told that Metro Council is expected to discuss the possible 2 a.m. closing time in the coming weeks. And Scott, coming up at 11, we'll explain some of the other steps the city is taking to try and keep people safe. I know the police chief says one of those steps, please call in some tips. A lot of people saw what happened there that morning. Thanks so much, Conroy.